did it did it all feel how did it feel like it was going really slowly or that it happened quickly or um yeah, it, it felt like it was happening uh, slowly it's, like because when they interviewed me in Kajiaso County I'd been up for like uh like almost like 30 hours 30 hours wow because you because uh on the 20th I on the 20th I remember uh right before like I, tw the 20th I woke up like I, I remember taking a nap and I woke up at around like five o'clock and I hadn't slept until then and they interviewed me on the 22nd Whoa. Yeah, and I hadn't slept then since then. Wow, so you're pretty spaced out. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of that video. You, you probably never had chat. Did they show it in the um, court, the first court hearing? No. Have you ever seen it? Right. Yeah. It's amazing how much you've changed. <laughs> you've like doubled in size, haven't you, the last yeah. few years? I think you're going to be like about six foot five or something. <laughs> no, I do because I've got a brother who's um, six seven. Even though I've got three brothers, and even though I'm tiny, that they're all huge. And when he was your age, he was about your size. And I just, I, I think you're going to be. Yeah. Um. So what? When you sort of had that interview with your mum there, what did you think was going to happen next? Um. I, re I really didn't know. really just I really didn't know mm. but was it in your mind to just tell the truth or were you thinking yeah I just I told him right now and have you since have you ever regretted that or have you no, I, I don't regret it I mean I saw, you, you know, you saw in that your mother said, like, you were brought up to tell the truth to the, to the police or whatever, so if they're asking you what happened, then tell them, tell them the truth, right? And um, did you feel like the police treated you, you know, in, given the circumstances, how did you feel they treated you? Um, like, they treated me, I think they uh, treated me well. I was mistreated or anything. Yeah. And the detective kind of seemed to ask. Was there anything that you sort of felt they didn't ask you that you wish you could have said or? Um, I really don't uh, remember like much about the inter like what they were asking me, so I really couldn't tell. Mm. Yeah. And. Then for the next few days, was it you were you were, where were you taken to then? After that, where were you held? Um, after my uh, interview around like nine o'clock, they took me to Pearson Woods Academy, which is a juvenile, and I was there for a week. So you weren't in the county jail. Like like uh, I went to the. I went to the, I was interviewed in the county jail, and then they, later that night, they took me to Pearson Woods Academy, and then I was, the, and and they set a hearing date for the 29th, and then on the 29th, they waived me, and they just took me straight, they just kept me uh, in Kajiaso County Jail. Between the 29th and when you got sentenced? Or between yeah, the 22nd and 29th? The, the 29th and the day I was sentenced. Oh, okay, that's what I didn't understand. Okay, so, and when you were in the county jail, who were you sharing the cell? Um, for part of the time I was with Colt Lundy, but then our, I guess our cases kind of split apart and they separated us. Right, because it would have been a conflict or yeah. something. And what was it like sharing the cell with him at that point? I mean, it wasn't like, I mean, um, it wasn't like awkward or anything, it was just kind of, I don't know, it wasn't, 
Like, I, I kind of, I don't know, it was nice to have company, I guess, because I didn't really, we didn't really socialize with anybody else. Yeah. And did you ever sort of talk about what had happened, or was it off bounds, or? No, we really didn't talk about it. Was that because you thought maybe that people were kind of listening, or? I mean, uh, no. Mm. And that was the last time you saw him. So do, do you ever think about him now? Um, like sometimes I do just think about how he's doing. Yeah. Do you ever hear about him through, because your sister was quite friendly with him, wasn't she, before? Yeah, like uh, my sister, a while back told me that uh, she had written him, my sister Rowan, but I'm not sure if she's still in contact with him or not. Okay. Um, how did you feel about her writing to him? Um, uh, like I didn't, I mean, I, that's up to her, I mean, I really didn't give her what I think. Do you have any idea what about the future and like what you'd like to do? Like as a career field? Yeah. Um, well I think I kind of want to be in real estate just because cause my, my mom got into real estate and I kind of just want to help her out. God, of all the things you might have said that was the last thing I was expecting, yeah. real estate, wow. You know she said she was, she was doing quite well though actually. So that's happened since you, you've been here, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, okay. And what do you... What effect... I mean, I know this obviously is it's not a positive thing overall, but are there, any, are there any positive things that you've kind of taken from this time that you've had so far inside and in here? Um... They don't, they don't have to be, but I just, you know, everything's got positives and negatives, doesn't it? I, uh, well, it's, it's, like, well, with schooling, like, it's put me ahead of everybody, and I hope to graduate early, and that's one of them. Mm -hmm. And, um, after that, do you sort of think... You'll go on to college, or...? Yeah, I, I plan to go to college, but... Um, I'm not really sure, like, what career field I want to go in. Uh -huh. Like, I'm... Uh, and do you think, because your mom still lives in the same house, doesn't she? Yeah. Do you think you'd like to kind of move back there for a while, or...? Um, no, I'd actually just want to move out of the area. Why? I just would want a new start. And do you think she, they'd support you in that? Yeah, she uh, she wants to move. She's, I'm not sure if it's her house is still up for sale, but I know at one time it was. I don't think it was when we went there, actually. I don't think it was. Yeah. Um, but probably the, the market, the economy's been so crazy, yeah. hasn't it, that she's probably taken it off for a bit. Especially if she's a, into real estate and knows, <laughs> knows what yeah. she's doing with it. Um, okay, and obviously, um, your mum, can you explain kind of how often your mum uh, comes to visit? Um, she comes on Thursdays and Sundays. So twice a week? Yeah. And how long does it take her to get here? Um, I think like two and a half hours. Okay, and what about your dad? Do you, like, does he come? Well, uh, he works out of the state, so I mean, when he's around, uh, he'll make it, but... It's more difficult for him, I guess, isn't yeah. it? And it'd just be good to get a sense of, um, have you ever, whilst you've been sort of inside here, you, are there kind of things you need to do to kind of keep out of trouble in terms of people, you know, fights that people get into and stuff, are you, are there ways that you've managed to cope with that? Like, uh... Like keeping your head down, kind of, like, do people bother you or do you manage to stay away out of trouble in here? Well, like, 
there's always gonna be people who like, try to get at you, but I like, just kind of ignore them. And you think they? W- what kind of things do they try and do to provoke you? There's uh, just talk crap. Okay. Would you describe a typical day, um, like what you know, what your kind of timetable is? Because it's quite, um, yeah, as I said, it's quite busy, and I sort of feel like. Um. Well. We usually uh, wake up like ten after six to, and we wake up to go to breakfast, and usually I just come back and just get a few more hours of sleep until 8 when I have to get up to go to school and then until 8 to 11 we're in a.m. a.m. classes and then we take an hour break to uh, go to lunch and everything and then we go back at 12.30 to 3, 3.08 and then at 3.30 we, or my uh, housing unit, we go to recreation until four thirty, and we're usually last for dinner, cause we're we're first for uh, breakfast and we're last for dinner. Seems like you're so you're waiting the longest between your meals. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and um, is that um, sort of you with the same people all the time, or do you kind of interact with all the different units? Um, yeah, like, usually the only time I interact with other units, it's during school, because everybody's together during school. And what are the different units? Can you explain, explain them? Um, well, they're the C units, which is the sex offenders, and D, D complex, the D units, they're the regular uh, general population units, and E complex, which is the E units. They're uh, like the special programs, like we have uh, the plus unit, which is like uh, you can either do character-based program or uh, religious-based. And then there's the uh, Boy Scouts, that's E13. And then we have the military units. Would you ever like to move into any of those other units if you could? Like E-complex? Uh, I wouldn't, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, um, I'd like the go to E13, the Boy Scout unit, because cause, uh, the, they, they, they have a new counselor, and I really like him. Interesting. What you were telling me earlier about teachers is interesting. Can you describe like how a teacher gets, you know, how the, they're perceived and how they get kind of respect from people? Um like how they keep their classes under control. Well, usually the people who, the teachers who like, don't like send people to the star room, usually they get like taken advantage of and they don't get any respect. But like teachers that, you know that if you act up, you that they'll be quick to send you to star. It's usually more uh, calm and If you could look back at that um, sort of twelve-year-old Paul, what would you sort of say to him from now, from your wisdom of two years on? Um. Um. Uh, just. I'm not really. Sh- I'm not really sure what I'd say to him. In mm. what ways, um, other than the, you say about impulsivity, but do you feel more mature now than you did then? Oh uh, yeah, most definitely. In what ways do you feel more mature? Um, what is, I, like I take things more seriously, and, you know, like, I'm just not as childish. Mm. Do you feel like you've had to grow up more quickly, maybe as well, being in here? Uh, yeah. 
Would you say that as a sentence? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I have to get the voice yeah, Um. Yeah, I do believe that. What? <laughs> what do you mean? You believe that? Yeah, I, I believe that I've uh, matured. Like, I... Wait. <laughs> so, yeah, I believe um, that I've had to mature faster than other kids my age.